So leave a comment down below. What would you do? Would you eat the shell cracker in a survival situation or would you try to use it for bait and upgrade to a bigger meal? What's up everybody? Hey, we got uh, Shane on his birthday weekend here. We're gonna take these mud boats. We got this one, we got Shane's, we got Cody's. We're waiting on Tyler's and David with a blow boat. So we'll be taking four or five. We got another mud boat coming. Yeah. Either four or five mud boats going down river be take all weekend to get to the other lake we're getting dropped off at this one picked up at another one open your present up what does it say <laughs> <laughs> all fun and games until someone loses a wiener <laughs> what the hell <laughs> What's up, everybody? We're fixing to take not one, but one, two, three, four, four mud boats and a blow boat. Everybody's just now getting here. We're going to take y'all along. Airball won't fit under the bridge, y'all. We're going to have to give it some more weight in the back and see if we can squeeze her under there. Here and now, we're committed. You gonna make it or no? Yeah, we are. That should be about my eye level, so <laughs> it's not gonna be much. We're gonna make it. Huh? We're gonna make it. We're gonna push down, but we're gonna make it. We're up. Uh, oh, yeah, we got three inches. Doing the limbo, y'all. Uh, <laughs> A limbo, limbo, limbo. Bridge limbo. Uh, I forgot it how the song goes, but I don't remember it. <laughs> limbo song. <laughs> nice one to get narrow right here. Are we still good? Yeah. Yeah, we got. Just clearing the dirt daubers. Golly. Woo! That's a close one, y'all. <laughs> Looks like we got a tree blocking the river. See if we can clear this out. We got David, David in a blow boat, we got Cody in a mud boat, little David in a mud boat, T Rob over there, old Lucky Bones. Say hi to the camera there, Lucky Bones. <laughs> <laughs> Got Tyler up there in his boat. Me and Shane in Shane's boat. All right, y'all. We're underway. We got all the boats in the water headed headed south, downstream. We're going to do like a survival weekend. Eat what you catch or kill, whatever. We've got, uh, we got some fishing poles. We got some material for limb lines. See if we, hopefully we can catch our dinner, whatever. But we're going to bring y'all along with us. See what happens. Trying to catch something to eat, y'all. Got one? There we go, there we go. Oh yeah. Look at there. Look at, the nuts on that Look at that one. Cool off. That's how you cool off. Beef is what's for dinner. <laughs> All right. So it ain't really a survival weekend. We just passed up on a whole bunch of steaks. So we gotta keep it legal, y'all. Give you that 
Okay. Wonder what some untouched Florida looks like. Here you go, y'all. Lunchtime, y'all. Here's another way to stay cool down the river. Woo! That's like AC, y'all. That's nice. Is eating dinner tonight. Woo! Those are some nice ones there. Uh, hopefully we're gonna catch some. Give He's not having a problem finding dinner, y'all. No. Nice job. Found another. Twenty. Them air ain't like ten, nine, ten pounds. We catch them twenty something pounds here. Oh yeah. Big heads going. Nice, nice. What kind is that? That's a blue cat. Blue cat. Okay. How All far right. down y'all run? I, I generally go right here and then the next where it gets real wide right here and it narrows. There's a deep hole right there. Yeah. That's about my stopping point. Oh, so you put it in back there? Looks like we're going to call this home for tonight, guys. Going to get the tent set up. They're all setting their tents up. And uh, we're going to get a couple limb lines out. See if we can catch something for either dinner or breakfast. They don't get much easier than that, guys. Well, we might set up camp right on a game trail, guys. We got some hog tracks. We got some turkey tracks. We got all kind of tracks coming from from out here, right here to the water. Got pig tracks, pig tracks, turkey tracks, raccoon tracks. Might have set up camp right on a game highway. I said we're gonna finish getting the camp set up and then I'm gonna put a limb line out here behind the boat. A little Palomar knot on there, guys. Throw a couple slip weights on there.
All right, limb lines out. Let's see if we can catch some dinner or something. All right, guys, this is starting to get out of hand now. If you watched the last video, we walked into the crab spider trap, or almost, almost hit another one. Got his, his web almost face level, it's about chin level. Same thing. We're not gonna mess his house up, but uh, face level. Almost caught it again. Almost destroyed the old man's house with my face. Like I said earlier, this is what some untouched Florida looks like. Beautiful. Orbis weaver spider, aka crab spider or devil spider. Hey guys, just a little tip. There's a difference in surviving and surviving legally because we've already passed on alligators, uh, just passed on a squirrel. We do have a shell cracker that we could all six try to eat, but I think, I think we're going to chop him up and try to trade him in for something bigger but we're still working on it that's gonna be bring the day to an end fellas we're about 12 miles down the river just lost a nice one on the limb line that was a big old catfish rebaited it get it out there wherever hopefully we have breakfast on there in the morning And the mosquitoes are hungry and they're eating us up. All right, guys, we got a tree shaker on here. Let's check it out. See what we got. See what we got. I don't know how good it's going to show up on camera. We got dinner. We got dinner, fellas. We got dinner, boys. We will not starve tonight, gentlemen. That's not the one that, that got away earlier, but he'll do. Yeah. That's not the one that, that uh broke the line off earlier. That's a nice that's a nice one. I said that. Oh yeah. Nice catfish. What's up y'all? Morning, day two. Everybody just now getting up. Just send to start packing up camp and take the boats down river some more. Uh, not gonna say, but we had one shell cracker and six of us to eat, so I'm not gonna say if we did or didn't. We might have had deer meat and mac and cheese for supper last night, and the shell cracker's still on ice over here in the boat. We're gonna see see what we can do with it later this afternoon. We're gonna trade it in on a bigger fish, try to get a bigger fish with it. Look how calm this water is, guys. had some small gators come up last night I think the mama gator is right over here over there I could hear her, but I can't really see her I think she's in the bushes over there but those babies keep swimming back and forth so she's not too far away those are the ones I recorded last night
I think they were trying to get my catfish that was on the stringer. So we'll bring y'all back when we get everything packed up and uh, get going down the river again. All right, we're putting that send them down river again. Ready? You ready? Look at some of these high water marks, y'all. That's how high the river when it comes up or has been up before. You can see the high water marks up on these trees, these oaks and cypress trees. Fish on, get it, get it, get it. Oh, oh yeah, God. whatever. This fish whoa, whoa, huh? Bird. Make it look real big for the camera. Bring it over here. Bam, whoa, that. guys, whoa. Now that's a fish. Hey, that's catfish bait right there. Yeah, this guy's on fire. Woo! This guy's on. This guy's on fire, y'all. Get it, get it. Oh, that is a nice one there. Oh, that's a bluegill. Woo! That's a hella bluegill. World's greatest fisherman. Let me see if you can do that without the hat. I think it's the hat. Too. <laughs> New hat dance. That's a nice one there. You want it? Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to see him. <laughs> We're gonna see him out there on Parks Lake this week with that hat on. I'll throw him back. No, I'll throw that one back. We got we got it. I'm gonna use the other one for bait. Of the PSA when you're going down the river. <laughs> this ain't ours. We just pulled over to take a break. Like I said, this ain't ours, but go ahead and grab it because it don't belong here. Stuff like this right here. Even though it ain't yours, go ahead and grab it. Don't belong out in the woods. All right, guys, we're at the railroad trestles. We're probably 13, 14 miles down river, or like 20, 25 miles. Because it looks like, according to the GPS, we're about three quarters of the way down. And we're only at like 13, 14 miles. So it's more like a, a 20 mile river run. But nevertheless, we're going to take a break here, play around, swim around. Just cool off.
Like I said, again, we're at the railroad trestles. So we're gonna take a break, and then we'll be back on it, heading out. It's cold, fucking cold. Closest thing to a bass we can get, guys. All right, guys. <laughs> You're on your survival situation. You got six guys. One little shell cracker, not enough to eat. So we're gonna take him, see if we can throw him back out here on our limb line, wherever, see if we can upgrade it to something bigger. That's if we didn't bring uh, four pounds of deer burger and mac and cheese and some other items. Just in case you didn't bring that and you're surviving, six people can't eat one little shell cracker. So like I said, we're gonna throw it back in and see if we can get something bigger. I'm gonna pop the scales off of it. We'll cut the head off. Get some of that scent out in the water. Rocky, we got collars in the water. And then we're gonna throw it out there. Alright guys, we got our shell cracker here, cut up into a nice little chunk. We'll put him on our limb line and see if uh, we can get something bigger to eat. Got a nice little deep hole right here. Throw it out a little further than that. All right, we got it out there, guys. So leave a comment down below. What would you do? Would you eat the shell cracker in a survival situation, or would you try to use it for bait and upgrade to a bigger meal? Like I said, that's if you didn't bring food and we were really trying to do this. But uh, we're going to see what we catch on it. Setting up camp at the new location here. All right, guys, get us a stick. Cook up our catfish real quick on this fire we got going. 
I'm gonna get a green piece of palmetto here. That should work. Like nah, they hot. All right, Tyler's gonna try it with me too. Let's try a little piece. No salt, no pepper. That's just straight primitive. Could you deal with it? Oh yeah, that's survival right there. All right. Not that bad. There you go, guys. No salt, no pepper. We're the only ones playing this stuff. They're over here grilling burgers. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> they got burgers on the grill. I'm just showing you, you could do it on the river if you, you didn't have food with you. But we're gonna camp here for the night and then we're gonna finish out the trip in the morning. I think we got like six or seven more miles to go and we'll be uh, back at our pickup point at a different lake. y'all is uh day two just getting up everybody just now getting up we're waiting on this fog to break as soon as this fog breaks we'll be running the boats to our pickup spot so we'll uh see you out on the water
still a little foggy guys we got uh like five or six more miles to our pickup spot but it's safe enough to see so we're just creeping along headed back headed back in here at our pickup point looks like we went around 22 mile river run there showed you how to catch fish on a limb line how to upgrade from smaller fish to bigger fish if you're in a survival situation <laughs> even though we really weren't in one but if you like this kind of content hit that like and subscribe button we'll see you on the next one